everyone. How are you? Welcome to our channel with new and informative video for you. NASA's Artemis program marks the return of human space exploration beyond low Earth orbit, with an ambitious goal to land humans on the moon and establish a sustainable presence by the end of the decade. Following the successful Artemis I mission, NASA is now preparing for the next phase in this groundbreaking journey with Artemis II, a mission that will take astronauts farther into space than any human has traveled since the Apollo era. Artemis II is a critical stepping stone for NASA's broader vision of lunar exploration, setting the stage for the return of humans to the moon for the first time in over 50 years. This mission, planned for 2024, is designed not only to demonstrate the capabilities of the Orion spacecraft but also to serve as a proving ground for the technologies that will support future deep space exploration, including missions to Mars. The vision of Artemis program The Artemis program is named after Artemis, the Greek goddess of the moon and the twin sister of Apollo, symbolizing NASA's goal to take humanity back to the moon, this time in a more inclusive and sustainable way. Unlike the Apollo missions of the 1960s and 70s, which were short-term visits, Artemis seeks to lay the groundwork for a long-term presence on the lunar surface. The broader aim is to use the Moon as a testing ground for technologies and strategies that will enable human exploration of Mars and beyond. At the heart of this ambitious program is NASA's focus on scientific discovery, economic growth, and international cooperation. The Artemis program aims to inspire a new generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers while ensuring that space exploration benefits all of humanity. Artemis I. The Foundation Artemis I, an uncrewed mission launched in November 2022, served as the foundation for NASA's future lunar missions. During this flight, the Orion spacecraft was launched atop the powerful Space Launch System SLS, rocket traveling 40,000 miles beyond the moon before returning safely to Earth. This mission successfully demonstrated many of the critical systems and technologies that will be used in future crewed missions, such as the performance of the SLS rocket, the navigation systems, and the heat shield that will protect astronauts upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. While Artemis I did not carry astronauts, its success was a critical milestone proving that the Orion spacecraft could survive the rigors of deep space travel and safely return to Earth, thus paving the way for the more ambitious crewed missions to follow. Artemis II The next leap Artemis II will be the first crewed mission in the Artemis program and is set to be an exciting precursor to a lunar landing. This mission will carry a crew of four astronauts aboard the Orion spacecraft, orbiting the moon and testing all systems necessary to ensure the safety and effectiveness of future landings. Although Artemis II will not include a lunar landing, it will play a pivotal role in preparing NASA for the future lunar surface missions planned with Artemis III and beyond. Objectives of Artemis II The primary objective of Artemis II is to test the Orion spacecraft's life support systems and demonstrate the capabilities of the SLS rocket with human passengers aboard. The crew will perform a multi-day journey, flying around the moon before returning to Earth. This mission will serve as a critical demonstration of NASA's ability to operate in deep space with astronauts aboard, ensuring that the systems required for lunar exploration are functioning as expected. In addition to testing spacecraft systems, the Artemis II mission will offer invaluable training for the astronauts, who will experience conditions similar to those on future lunar missions. By performing critical tasks during the mission, the crew will contribute to advancing the science and technologies required for future deep space exploration, including Mars missions. The crew The Artemis II mission is notable not only for its technical objectives but also for its diverse and historic crew. In a nod to NASA's commitment to diversity and inclusion, Artemis II will feature astronauts from various backgrounds, marking a milestone in human space exploration. While the names of the specific astronauts were announced in 2023, NASA's commitment to inclusivity ensures that the crew will be composed of individuals representing a broader cross-section of humanity than ever before. For the first time, women and people of color will have a prominent role in a lunar mission, reflecting the changing face of space exploration in the 21st century. The spacecraft. Orion and SLS at the heart of the Artemis II mission is the Orion spacecraft, NASA's new deep space exploration vehicle designed to carry astronauts beyond low Earth orbit. Orion is equipped with state-of-the-art technology, including advanced avionics, life support systems, and propulsion, to ensure safe and efficient travel to and from the moon. The Space Launch System, SLS, 
the most powerful rocket NASA has ever built, will launch Orion into space. The SLS is designed to provide the thrust necessary to escape Earth's gravitational pull and send Orion on its trajectory toward the Moon. For Artemis II, the SLS will use its Block 1 configuration, capable of lifting 27 metric tons of payload into orbit. The spacecraft also includes a European service module, ESM, built by the European Space Agency, ESA, which provides power, propulsion, and life support for the crew. This international collaboration underscores NASA's emphasis on global partnerships for its Artemis program, with numerous countries and private companies playing essential roles in advancing space exploration. Significance of Artemis II Artemis II is significant not only for its technical achievements but also for what it represents. Humanity's return to deep space. For the first time since the Apollo missions, astronauts will venture beyond low Earth orbit and into the vastness of space, reaching the vicinity of the Moon. This mission represents a bold step toward re-establishing human presence on the lunar surface and achieving NASA's broader goals of deep space exploration. The mission will also play a crucial role in NASA's long-term plans to establish a lunar base camp on the Moon's surface. Artemis II will help develop the technologies and skills needed to sustain long-duration human missions on the Moon, which in turn will provide the knowledge necessary for future exploration of Mars. Moreover, Artemis II will further expand our understanding of the Moon. Although the mission will not include a landing, it will enable scientists to conduct valuable observations and gather data that will inform future lunar science and exploration efforts. The mission will serve as a springboard for future lunar missions, where astronauts will conduct surface operations, including scientific experiments and technology demonstrations. The road ahead, Artemis III and beyond following the success of Artemis II, NASA's next major goal is Artemis III, which aims to land the first woman and the next man on the lunar surface by 2025. This mission will target the Moon's South Pole, a region believed to contain vast amounts of water ice that could support long-term human habitation and fuel production. Looking even further ahead, NASA plans to establish a sustainable lunar presence by the end of the decade, enabling longer stays on the Moon and deeper exploration of its surface. These missions will help develop the technologies needed for the next giant leap, sending humans to Mars. International and commercial partnerships NASA is not alone in its pursuit of lunar exploration. The Artemis program is built on a foundation of international cooperation, with agencies like the European Space Agency ESA, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency JAXA, and the Canadian Space Agency CSA, contributing essential technology and expertise. In addition to international collaboration, NASA has partnered with private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin to develop lunar landers and other technologies critical for the success of the Artemis missions. These partnerships represent a new era in space exploration, where public and private entities work together to achieve humanity's most ambitious goals in space. Conclusion Artemis II is a historic mission that will reignite humanity's exploration of deep space. As the first crewed mission of the Artemis program, it will pave the way for future lunar landings and set the stage for long-term exploration of the Moon and Mars. This mission will not only expand our understanding of the universe but also inspire future generations to reach for the stars.